Okay, so in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna talk about how to turn in the backswing correctly. But what I also wanna do is I wanna talk about the importance of it. So the reason why it's so important that you put emphasis into your backswing rotation is inevitably it makes the downswing much easier. So what we will see in today's video is also extracts of a recent lesson of a golfer who was struggling with the backswing rotation, making really common amateur mistakes that I see all of the time, um, and the effect that it had in the downswing position. So this golfer was inconsistent with ball striking, struggling with club face, struggling with the release, and as you'll see from this video how it unfolded, things started to progress, and you guys should equally be able to learn from it. Now, the first thing to do, I think when it comes to the rotation is, is start with the real basics. And the real basics is keeping the head still. Now I only laugh because it's amazing how many times golfers that I work with, particularly online, that will say, right, I've been concentrating on keeping my head still, I'm definitely doing a better job of it. And then they send over the video and lo and behold, what happens is that the head is sort of moving all over the place. And we, and we don't want that. Now, a real simple drill that you can do just to get practice in keeping the head still, I'm only using this long alignment stick for effect so you guys can see, is you wanna place a marker, okay, that would be on the instep of your trail ankle, right? So if I got set up in this direction, I'll get up nice and close to the wall so you guys can see. So I'm gonna place a golf ball or a marker in a moment on the instep of my trail ankle and four feet in front of me. So if I sort of roughly pace at about four feet and I move that golf ball there, if I now go back to the position where I once was, you can see the way that golf ball is pretty much in line with my trail ankle and it's four feet placed in front of me. So that means as I now turn in this backswing position, okay, like so, I should be able to just quite simply keep my head still, rotate around my spine, and can you see the way I'm pointing down towards that golf ball? So if I just briefly show you something like that from the side on perspective, so that's roughly about four feet uh, in front of me, take my stance, turn, see again the way it's pointing there. And that's just a real simple exercise because I think sometimes golfers feel that um, if you've got a tendency to move your head, that you have to do some sort of drastic tilting action and some contortion, you really don't. It really is as simple as just getting used to turning, keeping your head still as you're triggering a nice rotational movement. Um, and I think a very simple club across the shoulder, hands across the shoulder exercise gets you back into a very solid backswing rotational move. Now, what we then need to do um, is we need to evolve that a little bit. And we want to evolve it in a couple of ways. Um, one of the things that we're really trying to do in the backswing, and this is what my student noticed, is, or, or I would say, is we have got to create an element of resistance. So if we can load in the backswing, which means sort of stretch and resist in the backswing, it makes it easier to open up the hips and to move weight in the other direction of the downswing. So if I've got a golfer who, well, like the lesson example, sort of moves over the trail side and bends the arms a bit, obviously I'm dramatizing it, then the downswing is gonna, you're gonna need a lot of energy to move the other way. If we can kind of load in towards the side so it sort of springs us back the other direction with less effort, that's what we're after. So, the first thing that I want you to practice, you've, cut, you've kept your head still, the next thing I want you to practice is just bring your trail foot in front of you and turn it inwards, similar to what I'm demonstrating, and then just flex that leg. And just, again, do the same exercise where you keep your head still and just turn. And the idea of this is that this is giving us a sense of what an internal hip rotation is. So I'm turning my pelvis into my leg here, which is creating an activation in my trail glute. You're trying to recreate that now with a normal setup. So again, my student turned his foot out a little bit too much. I kept telling him to kick that in because we're not after a huge turn. We're just after enough of a turn so that we feel like we can get that activation. So the idea was, Keep your trail leg flexed, keep your trail foot roughly perpendicular to the target line and keep that head still. Now, what you need to do is you need to keep this trail leg flexed and you need to try and get the feeling of turning your pelvis into your leg, okay, like so. So again, it gets this activation in towards this glute. So there's a couple of things that we need to bear in mind to be able to do that. One of them I've already mentioned. We need to keep this trial leg flexed because we want that right leg to feel like it's pushing in towards the ground. So when the pelvis goes to turn into it, okay, it's almost like my trial leg is pushing into the floor, the pelvis turns into it, and then that kind of creates that resistance from that leg to help push it the other way when we come into the downswing. So what the foot wedge does is it one lifts the leg up, 
so it encourages it to stay more flexed, but also it pronates the foot. So again, it gives you that platform to feel like you're turning into it, as opposed to my student was kind of doing almost the opposite of that, really. It was almost like they turn this foot out and you can just never gonna get that same sort of activation and load. So a foot wedge is a really good training aid to help you get an awareness for resisting that trail side and turning and getting a feeling of the pelvis moving into the leg. Okay, so there's one last little piece of this puzzle. And um, if I sort of stand here, what should happen, and we know this happens with professional golfers, is if I stood to this golf ball here and drew a line on the outside part of my trail thigh, a professional golfer, when they swing up to the top, space will materialize from the original position and where they are at the top. Okay, now a lot of golfers tend to move too much this way. So you end up sort of sliding over towards this side and you get stuck. So what you do to ensure that doesn't happen is you need to practice getting the feeling of keeping the pelvis pointing downward. So feel like you're put, turning the pelvis down. And if you can turn the pelvis down, what will happen is that basically you will bring the right hip around with you. If you sort of move too much this way, then obviously you're gonna slide in that direction. So just practicing putting your hands on the lower part of your stomach and just sort of keeping that head nice and still and just feel like you keep that pelvis pointing down so it's almost as an exaggeration it's pointing down towards my right ankle what that does is that brings everything towards the target and all of a sudden similar to what my students started to realize is that might seem like a bit to think about but obviously you just practice it incrementally and one little drill at a time but if you can have a backswing where obviously your head still if you can have a backswing where you're keeping that trail leg flexed so you're stretching and you can have a backswing where that pelvis is pointing downward so you get your angles good as opposed to anything other then all of a sudden the downswing does become a lot lot easier and the downswing will lend itself to you being able to have a very good functional downswing now my student and we talked about it in the lesson we talked about some downswing feelings as well and i want to do that because obviously what i don't want you to do and this is what happened with my student is he started to have a much better backswing position but then sort of just hit the ball normally so if we've worked on this stretch and you know good activation into this trial side what we need to do is make sure that we are shifting weight in the other direction so just as a final point to this video um, do get used to that backswing trail leg flex pelvis into it but then from here all i want you to do is just start get, as you start this downswing just feel like you're shifting the weight very quickly towards that lead side and then bringing your hands and arms down in towards this impact area to make sure that you are striking the ground an inch in front of the golf ball okay because that's what you've got to bear in mind that you've got to be doing okay golf really rule one is control your low point and the low point needs to be about an inch in front of the ball so when you're making practice swings don't allow the club to strike where the ball is or even prior because that basically means that you've either moved too much over here or you're hanging back we want to get a good turn and then we want to feel like we move that weight towards that left side so when you're working on your backswing still practice controlling that low point because like i say when my students started to do that and he understood the importance of this backswing position he was in this type of placement as opposed to where he previously was he had that load and he could use that trail side to push himself through and that's why that backswing is so important and that's what i don't want you guys to lose sight of so practice with the foot wedge practice the basics of keeping the head still that will massively help out that downswing if you are turning correctly maybe place an object on the outside part of your thigh to make sure that you're moving away from it if you're not that's because you're not getting the pelvis down enough and then like i say you should get a nice activation in that side to help you really transfer your weight much more effortlessly on that through swing which in turn the whole point of this is because it helps you get that sweet contact on the back of the golf ball see you guys again really soon